this video we'll just be looking at um, some of the actual differences or the non King James Bible community call them errors of course um, well there are differences in uh, some of the translations in the Hebrew and the Greek and we'll look at that list uh, I'm not uh, someone who wants to bash the King James Bible because I have a testimony about using it and um, so I just want to show you some translations that could be said that they're uh, slightly better than the King James Bible and of course I've made videos in the past about the Mandela effects affecting the King James Bible so I'll leave a link to a couple of those videos below we should help to give you a better picture than in fact the Lit V or the uh, Green's Little Translation otherwise known as the KJ3 um, is the best available Bible um, for sort of the most reasonable amount of money there are possibly even better ones than this but you know they're talking thousands and what have you some of these are listed in um, the, one of the videos that I'll post below so we'll just concentrate on the so-called errors that the King James Bible has and so here we go that's a very big list um, starting from Genesis through Revelation and scroll through them I will leave this uh, link to this website below um, some of them are just sort of uh, you, your, you know, they, their kind of thing um, they're just very obscure um, as I mentioned in one of the previous videos um, there's no real difference between the Oxford and Cambridge editions I think the 1762 edition or something like that is the one we have today just going through all that but this is just um, all sort of the objections they say well I can't use the King James Bible so a lot of the Christians highlighted um, a lot of these errors when the King James Bible came out uh, a lot of them stuck with the Geneva Bible and the uh, Tinsdale Bible and different things so largely in the Lit V um, all these errors are corrected as well as the Mandela effects are corrected all but one you know the lion and the lamb that's remained the same in all the versions you know it now says the wolf and the lamb were dwelling together or something like that or something rather strange well we've gone into that so let's check out um, this one numbers 14 14 and the Hebrew does not say face to face it says eye to eye so this is just an example so we'll go into uh, this one and this is the lit V so you can see there it says um, who has seen eye with eye well that's the literal translation that's what it says in the Hebrew and then we can take one from the Greek you can see there's quite a number of hundred Variations, you know. Uh, hallelujah. I, I still, I still advocate the King James Bible because you know I've given so many out in the past. I've been to schools giving them out, and um, I still have a lot of King James Bibles. Um, but the last time before I left, before I went on my my little trip. I ordered some lit V's and they're very big heavy paperbacks um, really big like heavy ones but don't have any left well, people just took them I guess they just uh, took them for themselves and um, yeah because that was my experience in Africa oh, like give us one we'll look at it there you know love. <laughs> they don't really know what they're looking for but because they don't know all the the arguments they don't know all the you know the sort of key verses that people debate over uh, so let's look at um, the Greek there in Revelation 1 8 and um, the Greek reads the Alpha and the Omega in the King James Bible um, it says Alpha and Omega it doesn't say the Alpha and Omega so they're saying that it should be the definite article should be the Alpha and the Omega 
and in the lib v, I am the alpha and the omega. So they've, they've got that. Literally most of these are just, just probably, I'm not sure the percentage, but I think um, most of them are corrected in the literal, Queen's literal version, the lib v. So that's just two examples that have been corrected there from the King James so-called error list there. And um, as I said, we know from previous experience about the Mandela effects, you know, things like the wineskins parable, um, which is just widely known in Christendom, were made famous by the King James Bible, because it is an English-speaking Bible. But you can imagine, that you know, it doesn't say that anymore. It says bottles, and you would think that it would be known as the parable of the bottles if it was in the King James Bible written like that for 400 years but we know it's a Mandela effect and in the lip V that of course corrects it and no one puts new wine into old skins else the new wine will burst the skins and the wine pours out the skins will be destroyed new wine is poured into fresh skins which would be really new wine skins but we see that the, the theme of the wine skins is kept and that's what we generally remember from the non-Mandela affected King James Bibles. So that on top of the two or three other videos I've made on the literal Green's literal translation. Um, here's the Wikipedia page. Um, just a little bit more information on J.P. Green and uh, giving a comparison. You know, showing that uh, the divine vows have been corrected in the literal translation from the King James. And um, also they put the name Yehovah, Jehovah, well it should be Yahweh, but at, le at least they do that. I think the other one they do at the Young's Literal, they did a brief study on that as well. Um, so I would say that the it is widely available, you can order it, you can order the Green's literal translation, I would say if you're a serious Bible student, you should have a literal um, translation, a lit V, which I'm going to order more Bibles um, so I can so I can basically have these copies with me and uh, see if I can get a bunch of them and, um, you know, that we can get a little fellowship and we can read from that Bible because, uh, you know, that one is the correct teaching things pretty much correct, you know, we've got all the arguments, all the errors, everything. It's all said and done. The lit V is the one that I hope that you can use and that um you know hope I can get to it as well. Hope I, I can use it as well. It's the best modern um version of the sort of the King James Bible selections. So thank you for listening. May the Lord bless you.